The debate about abortion taking a rather nasty turn in New York City. An art professor at Hunter College in Manhattan under arrest now and charged with harassment and menacing for allegedly holding a machete to a reporter for the New York Post and threatening to chop him. All this after Shalene Rodriguez, seen on video, cursing out anti-abortion students on the Hunter campus. I would just do reporter Kimberly Richardson live at the courthouse in the concourse section of the Bronx campus. Well, Bill, her week went from bad to worse, and now Shellen Rodriguez is expected to face a judge here sometime tonight. The former Hunter College professor, who also now faces an uncertain future at the School of Visual Arts, she turned herself into police around 7 o'clock this morning. The move caps up a bizarre chain of events that started May 2nd. What are you going to do, like anti-trans now? Things quickly went south at Hunter College earlier this month. At the time, Shellen Rodriguez was a professor there and launched into a profanity-laced tirade. What set her off? A group of pro-life students handing out literature, which at one point she called propaganda. She proceeded to swiftly toss a bunch of pamphlets off their table. That footage got out there, and inquiring minds, a team from the New York Post, wanted to know more. Where did my door? When they showed up at her door, well, let's, Rodriguez let's was having none of it, stepped out and held a machete let's, up against the reporter's here. neck, threatening to chop him up. Once outside, dash cam video shows the reporter and photographer walking away, but it's not over. Rodriguez appeared wearing a black hoodie holding that same extremely large knife. The 45-year-old then chased the photographer around his car and up the block. At one point, she allegedly kicked the reporter in his shin. Hunter immediately fired Rodriguez, who this morning surrendered to police. And again, she is expected to face a judge here sometime tonight. When she left the 4-3 precinct in handcuffs around 11 o'clock this morning, she had a smirk on her face and she wasn't alone. A group of supporters was right by her side.